Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today we're going to look at the future perfect continuous tense in interrogative sentences. We typically use the future perfect continuous to indicate an event that may have started in the past and it will continue until a specific moment of the future. It is necessary to include expressions of time. Now let us contrast it with Spanish. The structure goes as will más sujeto más have been más el verbo continuo ando endo más complemento si este aplica. Habré estado trabajando en el restaurante por 10 años. Will I have been working in this restaurant for 10 years? Habremos estado caminando en el parque por una hora. Will we have been walking in the park for one hour? Now that you have seen how to form the future perfect tense in Spanish, let's check out the English. The structure is as follows. The word have or has, depending on the subject. Then will, plus the subject, plus have been, the past participle form of to be, plus the verb ending in ing, and the complement if this applies. Please remember that it is necessary to include expressions of time. And also, it is possible that one of these two scenarios can come across. First, that you visualize the continuation of the action. Or the second option, that it is a specific moment on the future or to infer consequences. Here are some examples. Will I have been meaning to phone Kim ever since I heard she was back in the country? Will the event have been taking place since 2020? Will the people have been saying that the old factory should be shut down? Just like with the present perfect, your biggest challenge will be to understand when to use has and when to use have. The rest of the sentence should be straightforward. Will plus subject, plus have been, plus the verb ending in ing. Congrats! Now you understand how to use the future perfect continuous in English. Good luck!